Hey guys, Capper here, and today I got a tip for you for your food plots and your overall wildlife strategy. So I'm out bush hogging one of my food plots. Uh, it's deep in the woods, it's not very big, maybe half acre tops. But let me show you, I left a bunch of trees in strategic spots and islands, and what that does is a couple of things. It gives you a lot more edge cover, um, which is what the critters like, deer, rabbits, turkey, all of that. So instead of just having a one perimeter around your food plot, if you leave islands like this, uh, you're going to have double or triple the edge cover in the same little area. And yeah, you might lose a small amount of food, but that's really not going to matter. So I'm going to keep bush hogging. Best of luck with your food plots. And the second thing it does is if you're hunting that food plot, uh, it gives you visual breaks. So, especially if you're a bow hunter and you got to move to get ready to shoot. So, with the islands out there, aside from the edge cover, it gives you visual barriers so that you can move or not be seen nearly as much as if you just got a blank, wide open field. So, best of luck this fall. Thanks. So my uh, diesel tank up there is empty. I'm afraid to get that refilled, so I need some fuel for bush hogging. So I got my handy backup uh, aluminum tank here. I got me a little jump starter, which makes it a lot easier than having to run the uh, cables all the way up to the battery up front. 